हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेकेंड ग्रुप ऑन द नॉन वॉस्कुलर प्लांट्स दैट इज थैलोफाइटा एज यू कैन सी अ ब्यूटीफुल जेली विच यू लाइक टू ईट नाउ वी वंडरिंग वाई आई एम शोइंग दिस आइसक्रीम्स एंड जेलीज ही बिकॉज दिस आइसक्रीम्स एंड जेलीज आर बेसिकली पेड बाय जिलेटिन ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दिस थैलोफाइटा प्लांट्स दैट्स वाई वी हैव शोन दैट वीडियो ईयर और स्लाइड्स ईयर so they basically belong to kingdom plantae and they have a leaf like structures but proper root stem and leaves are not there they are thallophyte they are multicellular organism and unicellular organism in protista are different so to differentiate we have shown that slide their cell wall is there and they are made up of cellulose as you can see the spirogyra here and the next slide shows they have autotrophic mode of nutrition that means they can prepare their own food because they have a chlorophyll green color pigment present into it and therefore they are known as photosynthetic they can prepare their own food some of them have different color pigment as you can see the red algae here having red green and different brown pigments are there and some of the majority of them have a green color pigment that is called chlorophyll pigment that is why they are green and they carry out photosynthesis algae have red and brown pigment as i discussed about it some of the uses of algae are as you can see the seaweed here the seaweed is used in the salads and some continental food in different countries as you can see this beautiful and uh, tasty and yummy dish here where the seaweed is used second use of algae is making a biofuel and biological fuel which will create less pollution as compared to the other fuels which we are using third is use of antibiotics for treatment of various disorders but there are certain harmful algae also like uh, we we'll talk about this harmful algae which create problem for the environment like one uh, we can see here the example is uh, carinia brevis which creates something called as algal bloom uh, you can see here what is an algal bloom so algae grows so much onto the land that it multiplies and covers the surface of the land and that's why the oxygen becomes less this is because when there is an excessive amount of nitrogen and phosphorus and the entire life in that water will get depleted uh, so they are mostly marine and fresh water also as you can see in the picture there and uh, most important they are found in the extreme environment like ice covered regions and the hot springs and that's why they are known to survive in different areas freshwater algae is or freshwater thallophyta or spirogyra and volvox we have learnt about this also there are vulva and fucus are the other examples of thallophyta or algae growing in fresh water second example of uh, those who are growing in both marine and fresh water are eulothrix cladophora and chlamydomonas so just to recap kingdom plantae they belong to thallophyta thallophyta belongs to kingdom plantae and why they are called as thallophyta because their body is not showing proper root stem and leaves as you can see in the slide and most importantly they are uh, found in aquatic habit mostly marine as well as sea water the next slide is telling us that they are autotrophic in nature they can prepare their own food or they are photosynthetic in nature because they have a green color pigment called chlorophyll present into it and uh, since they can prepare their own food they do not uh, move from one place to another they are non motile and also they are known as sessile they are used in making of continental food biofuels antibiotics some of them are harmful like in case of brevia brevia species which causes algal bloom and doesn't allow other uh, species of plants and animals to grow some of them have a red color pigment brown color pigment green color pigment and uh, some of the examples are eulothrix spirogyra cladophora volvus fucus you can at least remember three to four examples of this particular group so to wind up what we can say about this thallophyta or algal group is they are eukaryotic having proper nucleus and cell wall multicellular and they are non motile they belong to group thallophyta thallus because their body is undifferentiated into proper root stem and leaves there is no proper root stem and leaves so i hope this makes the idea about thallophyta very clear please enjoy the video like the video and repeat two three times to understand this group of thallophyta in case you have any doubts you are always welcome to ask the doubts on the whatsapp group till then bye bye thank you